The place was full with people enjoying food and drinks, and then suddenly chaos walked in. Everybody out! Customers inside Mexican Fiesta didn't know what was going to happen next when the shirtless man began demanding that everyone get out. He had just walked into the restaurant a couple of minutes earlier and everyone could tell something wasn't right. He came up and said, you have to leave because you got no shirt, no shoes on, we can't serve you. And before walking in, it seems the man had gotten into a large container of old cooking oil. It was funny because you could see the, the foot, footprints from him, his bare foot prints because he was covered in oil. Then suddenly the man jumped on top of the bar and then behind it. Pam Latigo started recording the bizarre events that had restaurant staff getting ready for whatever could happen next. And that's when the man seemed to be trying to arm himself with knives. He picked up um, the knives and he put knives between his hand, fingers and knives between his fingers so he had the knives sticking out. Does he still have the knives in his hand? Yep, and he's now, he's just yelled, now he's throwing things behind the bar. He just told everybody to get out of the restaurant. He's going crazy. And then he just started yelling, everybody get out. You out, out. And get out is just what the restaurant staff had everyone do as they called Dearborn Heights police. He picked up other plates that were there, like on the bar, and he started throwing them. And didn't, did he throw the beer bottle? I don't remember I if he did. Break, yeah. We heard breaking, so. When officers arrived, we're told they had to taser the man, but they handled it well, and no one was hurt. He did their job, and you know, everybody was safe. And the man arrested, we're told, is 26 years old, and Dearborn Heights police say it's unclear if he has drug or mental health issues. Reporting live in Dearborn Heights, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you in the studio. Kim, such bizarre behavior. I mean, so if he has drug or mental issues, was he taken to jail, or did they take him to a hospital? Hey, Carolyn, that's a good question. They took him to a hospital in Garden City to be evaluated, so charges are pending on exactly what is determined. Back to you. All right.